it was just a, a relief to have him, you know, both of us back on the land. It was, it was a pretty good feeling. He won't call himself a hero, but to many, he probably is. Yeah, a Belmont firefighter was off duty driving down a road in Piedmont two weeks ago when he noticed a truck sinking in a pond and trapped in the back seat a two year old child. Tonight, we're learning about the seconds he had to save that child's life. Seven News reporter Kirsten Glavin joins us right now live at Seven on Main with this miraculous story. Kirsten. Well, Carson Couch says he was at the right place at the right time. It came down to a matter of seconds. He had to smash a truck window with his fist before the whole thing went under. We don't, we don't do rescues every day, but uh, sometimes we do. It was unlike any rescue this off-duty firefighter had ever done. Carson Couch says he was driving down Piedmont Golf Course Road with his brother when he saw a man frantic on the side of the road and just beyond him, a truck sinking quickly. We slowed down. I rolled my window down, uh, pulled over to him, and he kept asking me if I could swim. That's when my little brother saw the child in the car. Trapped in the back seat, a two-year-old boy. I looked over my shoulder, and all I saw was his face and hands just like this, just pushed up against the, the back glass. Carson swam 40 yards out only to find the truck doors locked. Running off adrenaline, he punched through the window. Scooped him up and took off. Couch says he had only seconds to grab the young boy and kick himself away from the sinking vehicle before it went under. As soon as the water started coming in, it, it really started going down quick. When I looked back, there was nothing behind me. This dash cam video captured the moment Greenville County deputies pulled up to help. Couch was swimming back with the boy on his chest, but he says he was out of breath and wasn't sure he'd make it. Couch says he was about 20 yards away from this shoreline when a deputy threw him and the child a floating device. He says that likely saved both of their lives. Minus a few bruises on his hand, the Belmont firefighter says everyone made it out unharmed. And although he wasn't on duty, he says helping people isn't a nine to five job. It's the kind of person he is. Just being there to help somebody. It's a good feeling. It's rewarding. It's the best job in the world. And I'm told the father couldn't swim, so he was very grateful for Couch's quick actions that likely saved his little boy's life. Well, thank goodness that he was there to intervene. But, you know, something we talked about before the show is that not everybody stopped, right? A lot of people just drove right by this. Did anyone call 911? Yeah, Couch actually told me that he saw a number of cars drive right by Amy and no one stopped to help. So I think it's a good reminder for people to remember just because you see some people helping out doesn't mean that everyone's necessarily call, called 911 or the situation is taken care of. Uh, he was very lucky that his, his brother was in the car to call 911. Thank goodness. All right. Thank you so much, Kirsten Glavin, tonight.